Autotune is pitch correction software made by Enteris. As has been covered a lot in previous videos, it's one of the very many plugins I use to mix my own music, and I get a lot of questions about it, mostly centered on how to get it. Well, today I'm running through the cheapest way to get the actual Autotune plugin into your DAW, not pirated and not an off-brand version. Here I'm using Cakewalk as the guinea pig DAW I'm installing Autotune 2, but this also applies to a long list of programs here on Enteris' website, and even ones not listed that support this type of plugin. Notable non-compatible softwares include Audacity though, which is important because I've used Autotune with Audacity in the past, but that was an older version of Autotune, there's no longer support for Audacity. My official recommendation is if that's an issue for you, you should move to Cakewalk. It's better for music, far closer to a quote-unquote professional music software, and it's free. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to go to antairstech.com, the official Antares website, and go to Support Installers. What we're doing is installing the actual plugin first, then buying it and activating it. This is better for beginners because it makes sure you correctly downloaded it, installed it, and that it's compatible with your software, all before you drop any cash on it. So in this list, find Autotune Access, that is the cheapest lifetime version of Autotune you can buy, that includes everything 99% of y'all need out of it. At the time of filming, it was even on sale for only 30 bucks. They do this sale every year around Black Friday and the holidays. So if you wait till it's on sale to grab it, that'd be great. If not, the regular $100 price is still reasonable. It's a pretty big download, so it's gonna take a minute, but after it's done, click that zip, run the installer in there, and really just run through the installer with all the default options. It's all basic stuff, and you don't need to change anything to get this guy working. Next, we're gonna pull up our DAW. We've already covered that I'm using Cakewalk, and I'm just opening a blank project just to give us something to pull Autotune access into. We're dragging it over, opening it, and unsurprisingly, it gives us this screen telling us we have no license. So let's attend to that. However, before buying access, let's get one more thing out of the way, downloading CodeMeter licensing software. This is the platform Antares uses to store software keys like the one we're about to buy for Autotune, so just select the appropriate version for your computer from this page, download it, and install it with its default settings. Back to the Antares central portal the unregistered plugin takes you to, you can see the section where the license would appear if we had it. But for now, let's click the Buy Antares Software button and go back to their website. We're going to navigate to the Autotune Access page, add it to our cart, go to checkout, and make the purchase. Somewhere along the way, you'll probably get stopped to make an Antares account, which isn't a complicated process at all, but you will need to confirm your email and answer a few questions and such. Once that's taken care of, the final and last step is literally going back to the plugin and the section that holds our licenses and just activating it from there. The plugin will then look like this with minimal controls that still do everything we need. At the top, there's the key of the pitch correction. If you're working with third-party beats or instrumentals, most producers will provide these for you. And if you're making a cover or something, you can look up keys easily online. Below that, there's the trusty retune speed knob for how fast your notes are corrected. I stay in the fast to medium range for the kind of music I make, but this is really just to adjust the style of correction you're going for. And lastly, there's Humanize, which helps reduce the roboticness of sustained notes. And I like to crank this up on a lot of my songs because I don't want to sound like a robot. Now, considering Autotune is one of the most misunderstood mixing plugins of all time, I do want to give a disclaimer aimed at those of y'all that come to my videos to learn about mixing your own music. Just from the ratio of comments I get asking about Autotune versus literally any other plugins, or from other platforms where people comment on other people's stuff saying it's not Autotune, it's pitch correction, or pointing out that an artist uses Autotune as some kind of an insult, I'm just here to point out there's no software that comes up with catchy melodies for you, or good lyrics, or mixes your music for you, or even, surprise surprise, makes the average person sound like a good singer. And even if there was, it wouldn't be autotune. What this boy does is shift your notes to the closest note in the set scale, and it does that at the speed you tell it to. So this little section is really just me encouraging all the aspiring artists that want to mix their own music not to grab autotune and call it a day, but look into everything else you're going to need in a good mix. EQs, delay, de-essers, compressors, exciters, reverbs, etc. And shoot, if that doesn't seem appealing, or if you don't believe me that you need more than one plugin to make good music, all it really takes to convince someone otherwise is give them an empty DAW, just autotune, and tell them to try to make good music. But look, I don't want to get too ranty here, just doing my best to equip those of you that are learning and progressing as artists, because I'm doing that as well myself. Uh, but that's all I got for y'all today. I will see you in the next one. 